Elena's missing husband Mario returns, making everyone run away. Elena is still really happy, because she doesn't know that whatever Mario does, is under the control of somebody. Tell me you love me. Of course I love you the one who controls him says it. The neighbor, Jesus freaks out when he sees Mario. He killed Mario already. Could the dead revive to seek revenge on him? Jesus doesn't believe it so he goes to Mario's with a gun. But there is nobody in the house. Turns out they both have run away from this complicated land. While Elena is dreaming about their future life, Mario suddenly changes his behavior, he hits her. Where did you hide the coin, he asks. This man is not Elena's husband. He has been enchanted by a witch. She has turned a scarecrow into Elena's husband. Her purpose is to look for the final silver coin. She has got 29 coins. Now Elena is keeping the last one. If the witch collects enough coins, she could easily take over the world. Elena has to suffer torment because of protecting the coin. She can't take it anymore so she threw the coin into the river a long time ago. Mario doesn't buy it, he takes Elena to the river. Elena secretly sends a message to Paco for help. Mario grabs her neck and wants to push her down the deep river. He wants her to find a coin for him. Luckily, Paco comes and saves Elena. After experiencing this, she doesn't care about anything. All she wants is to leave this unscrupulous land. But no matter how far she runs away, the coin can still find her. The staff in the restaurant has found a coin in the fish's stomach. He is about to throw it away. But as soon as this guest sees it, he is attracted to it. So he decides to keep it. I'll bring luck for you his friend says. Coincidentally, this guest is Elena's boyfriend. While they are having dinner together, Roque gives her a gift. Elena appreciates that, so she happily receives the gift. She thought that it would be the engagement ring. But when she opens it, it's the coin. Elena freaks out, running to the restroom. At that time, the assassin that the witch sent also arrives. Roque unfortunately gets shot to death. Thanks to the security, the assassin is unable to steal the coin. But they both start fighting. In the meantime, the security accidentally rips off the assassin's necklace. Which makes the assassin lose consciousness and fall to the ground. The coin also comes back to Elena. At night, Pastor Padre, who gave the coin to Elena, he tells her that come back to the village. Everything depends on you, you have to guard the coin with your life. Elena starts feeling suffocating. She can't get away from the fate that the coin brings to her. The dog sees a frightening scene while seeking food. Just in one night, everyone is locked in a room with a clear wall. Those ignorant villagers have made the ringleader as god. They have no idea that. Their respected father has already colluded with the witch. He gave her a bag. Then she poured the things in the bag down the drain. To create a boundary with the things in the bag. Thick smoke starts spreading across the area. The whole village is quickly covered with fog. While the priest is walking along the corner covered in black blood. A beggar sees him. The priest tells that beggar that. This is meant to lock you up. The boundary is activated. This girl throws the ball into the air, but the ball bounces back. Which makes her panicked. The villagers start discussing this strange thing. The beggar exposes the truth about what the priest told him to everyone. But nobody believes in him. Just only Paco who is wise. He wants to collect as much information as possible from the beggar. But at that time, he is shocked to faint. Paco's wife, Mercha rushes to bring him back to the room. Actually, she was soon hypnotized by the witch. The reason why Paco faints is due to the demon she possessed. Strange things always suddenly happen. The villagers go to the church, wait for the priest to tell them what to do. He pretends to calm the people down. Then sneaks out of the back door and locks it. While the church burns down. He just runs away without caring about anybody. His target is Elena who is coming back to the village. Elena is led to Paco's place by the witch. She immediately helps Paco to get out of the curse. At that time, Mercha suddenly appears. The witch uses Merch's jealousy to make her steal the coin. They both get in a fight. Mercha grabs Elena's hair and keeps banging it on the stairs. Mercha has successfully stolen the coin. Paco wants to humanize her with his love, but Mercha is totally under control. The final coin is given to the witch and the priest. The whole village has become a hell on earth. Those tourists are immediately caught once they come to the village. They are captured in the church and forced to take a kind of medicine by the priest. Quickly, their eyes have become dull. Because they are assimilated like the villagers. The witch has collected 30 coins. The next step is to take over the whole world. She starts to hold a cult ceremony at the church. The villagers are told to kill all the cows and goats in the village. Splashing fresh blood on the holy robe. Within a second, the whole village is full of dead animals. Pastor Padre comes back to the village and sees this weird thing. He knows that it's too late. 
Pastor Padre was the one who kept the final coin. But the witch wouldn't stop keeping pressure on him. That's why he gave Elena that coin. And then ran away. His best friend's death has awakened him. Despite knowing it's too late, he still wants to try. He rushes into the fire to get his weapons. He then looks for the witch with guns and holy water in his hands. Elena and Paco fight the villagers together. But they realize that they are not the pastor's opponent. Show me your true essence the pastor screams. Then a giant monster suddenly emerges. The three can't beat this monster up. So they decide to hide in the secret room underground. To see the outside, Pastor Padre has to use Dove Blood. After that, they see that everybody in the village is controlled by the witch. Paco goes out to observe the situation. He finds that Mercha doesn't seem to be under any control. Mercha has even prepared a meal for him which surprises him. If you stay here, they will find you so come with us he tells her. Mercha is angry and doesn't want to come with him. Then she makes an extremely powerful poison. From the spits on the food. Unfortunately, Mercha has found the pastor, Paco and Elena. She drugs Elena unconscious then takes her away. Pastor Padre goes to save Elena without hesitating. Paco quickly finds Elena. Pastor Padre decide to knock this witch out. The witch tells Paco to give Elena a shot in her neck. She says that it can save her. Paco does what she says, but that just makes Elena's situation worse. He pisses off, immediately kills the witch. Finally, she's dead. Paco takes Elena away to seek help. On the other side, Pastor Padre also finds the priest. But how can people defeat devils? Pastor Padre is easily beaten up. The inheritor of the coin has killed Pastor Padre. The devil has eventually ruled over the world. Pastor Padre chants a spell with all of his remaining strength before he dies. He calls the pigeons to stop the ritual. He endured the pain, pulled out the sword. Then stabbed the devil to death. The coins are now falling to the ground. Everyone is trying to pick it up. Another man has replaced the priest. Together with Merce, who holds the last coin, a new conspiracy begins. This is the end of the movie for today. The next movie is even more exciting. Goodbye and see you later.